get into it, man. TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. But by the time you hear this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right above me. This is the live channel. If you miss a live stream, this is where you can catch the highlights. Or you can just come to Twitch, which is in the link below, and just rewatch the live. Because there do be stuff in here that's not not on the YouTube channel, man. Uh, don't forget, we do got Patreon. We post Monday through Friday. You get me? This is probably the best episode of Only Fools I ever watched. Time on our hands. I, I cried. I was so happy that them boys got rich finally. They got $7 million from a little what? Hey, listen, man. You feel me? Don't forget, we do got uh, Patreon. I mean, merch as well. Let's get into it, man. The link to all of that is down below. Um, as you can see, currently, I got about five or six shots in me of tequila. I'm holding my composure. I'm good. I'm composed. <laughs> all right. Police catch a police catch evil predator in the, in the act is wild. All right. Let's see what this dude's going. I hope he get life in prison. 2023 and officers from the Akron Police Department out of Akron, Ohio have arrived. Why got to be in uh, mid the Midwest though? Like why he did oh my god. It ain't in Chicago, so you know what? At an address on a street that sits just off West Wilberth Road. Police were called to the address by the family that lived there because they believed that their friend had been keeping a girl captive in their garage, which sits in the back garden. Although the pair were there for roughly four days, they were only noticed on day four, around five hours before the police were called. The family told police initially it wasn't a cause for concern and thought that this female may have been a friend. But as time passed, they began hearing screams, shouting and what sounded like an ongoing assault. The family said they waited a few hours to contact police as they didn't want to make the situation worse or put their own children in harm's way. Eventually though, after discussion, they decided the police needed to be called. Facts. Is the police? This is how you know it's Ohio. It's pots and pans out on the on the on the on the steps. They can't cook. They say we might as well throw away the dishware. We can't cook. I ain't never heard of no good restaurant coming out of Ohio, especially Akron. Maybe in Ohio, like Cleveland or something. But Akron, I don't know. LeBron from there. Mm -hmm. Be more stealthy. Can you take this a little bit more serious, officer? What are you doing? What's going on? How do we get in? Can we get in the door? You have to kick him inside the door. I don't care. I don't care. My parents are here. I can't help. I just want to help this people. He used to live here, so he can tap into anything. Yeah. But we have cameras up for other reasons. Right, I got you. Has... You know he's in there for a fact. I know for a fact. You can, you can kick your door. You can I kick swear it in. to God, go ahead. Please. This, I don't know what's wrong with this girl. Oh, there's a girl in there with him? Yes. I told them this. I told them this. Mm -hmm. There's a girl in there. She's very small and slim. My husband said he didn't really get a good look at her. But he's yelling at her. Bitch, shut the fuck up. Uh, That's right, people. We're gonna fuck on you. Her face is, she can't see out of her eyes. Okay. So, this is why I'm nervous. So, wait, why y'all wait? So, y'all, y'all seen all this and waited this late? I'm watching the reaction like the nosy neighbor next door. Like, come on now. This is why I've been calling this officer all morning and I don't even know if that's even. This officer need to call for backup because he's not the, he's, I don't think he's him. 
He need to call for backup. He don't seem brave enough. You know 100%. You know 100%. I know 100%. Fucking percent. Look, he trying to confirm percentage rates. Like, bitch, go break down a door. Scary ass. Go do how something. Long, how long ago did they go in there? We don't know when he got in there, but my husband went on at 1 o'clock to pull the dolly out because he has to be at work at 7.30, mm. 7.15. Bro, so pulled out his notepad out instead of going to go do a job. When he went out to get the dolly, that's when... And my dad used to keep in the garage all the time. He's 80 years old, so he forgets. So I believe this side door was unlocked, and now I feel like the door's locked. My husband didn't bring the keys in. He oh, in the garage? So about the whole thing. It's like... This is your property, you own this property. My mother does, yes. Is she here now? She's awake, yes. I just get verification. She, she doesn't know anything that's going on. Okay. I mean, you have, she can't walk, you have to come oh, right yeah. here. Oh, if you don't mind. You have a dog? Um, yes, but she's friendly, but she's in the back sleeping with okay. my dad. She's up in the attic. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we got backup. Well, y'all got backup. Okay. I'm going crazy. Yeah, there's a lot of guns going on right now. I didn't end the line. Everyone better get somebody's up to the You gonna send the dog after the Vic? The victim is in there, officer. You're not gonna, you're not gonna get your black socks in the county anyways, so we'll get you to go in there and get your shoes. What's this chick? Your socks are fucked in the county anyway. What's that girl's name? What? What's that girl's name? Um, we can't hear you. Is there anybody else in here with you? Okay, what do you need to get down? Yeah, she's in the ceiling. Though. She's in the ceiling? What am I watching? Oh yeah, she beat the fuck up. Yeah. You want to start a 32 just to get a look at it? Yeah. 32 for her. This the only camera angle we can yeah, use? Yeah, Is there anybody else out there with you, ma'am? No. This is part of the reason why I could never be a cop also because I don't have trust for cops also because that's just not in my blood but it's just like they see too much you know what I'm saying like how can you keep your composure I would have no choice but to put my hands on one of these people like like they too calm like I, like I be I ain't even gonna say it <laughs> like but like come on man Like sometimes, like when when certain officers get into these situations, like 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 acting like when we, when you watch stuff like this, you under like you kind of get it. Like, bro, they be fed up. All the stuff that they see on a day to day basis, like like hey yo, I can't take another like sight like this. Like, I, oh, I see her up top. She moving. She coming down. She coming down. There's no one else up there? Where do you live at here? Thompson? How far away is that? Mm -hmm. 
Why don't you have a sit right seat right there on this? I figured I just have one person focus on it. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh my God. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. 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 What's that? Yeah, that's what probably we're gonna do. Can I get uh thirty two hmm? What's he say? Okay. Are you freezing right now? You cold? You wanna go sit in the cruiser right now until the med unit gets here so you can be warm? They're right here. Oh med unit's here. Well I'll, we see you can walk down. We'll walk okay. down to Alright. We're gonna have a seat. Can you get what? Yep, go ahead. <laughs> what cost? That's a good question, man. Like, I never understood how women could, like, not women, but, like, men could, like, like that's wild, man. That ain't no man. That's a, that's a. Hey! Turn your face around. that way! Just keep coming. Watch your step right there. You get it? Yeah. There's a the female in there. Come on out of here. I can't make it pray, man. Yeah. Yeah, come on. Yeah, you got anything on? He's going to poke me, stick me, stab me. Knives, needles, guns, bombs, drugs. Hey, come out. I got a hold on. Yeah. Anybody else yeah. in here? Come out now. We're going to sell this dog in after you do. Come out. What? My feet suck. My God, my feet's getting wet. Okay, you're, 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 we'll work it out, man. Let us do our thing. Bro, you just beat dude. For real. I heard the other uh, the other officer. He said your socks are gonna get messed up in the county anyway. That's a fact, bro. Forget your shoes. I'm not getting that man's shoes. So what? You was in this garage upstairs, comfortable, comfortably whooping on a woman. That's tough. What's that girl's name? What? What's the female's name? Um, I can't remember. I can't hear you. I can't remember. I can't remember. Why is she hiding in the ceiling too? Right. What do you got in your thing right here? How do I get to it? I don't know what it is. Something in your pocket here. I don't know. Probably tissue. It doesn't feel like a tissue. It feels like a folded up piece of paper. You don't have to. I have no clue. Okay. Just come on. Just rip the jacket. If I take it, you know you have a pro violation. Hold on, buddy. Officer searching hard for this little piece of paper. See, this is the one thing that bothered me about police. Okay, they here doing their job, but all the giggling and hee 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 and ha ha ha. Like, it's a woman in there that's beat up two black eyes. Like, there should be no slaps. Like, this is like, oh, we gotta find some type of, like, human. We gotta find some type of relief in the. Ch like, bro, shut up. I don't wanna hear no laughs. Do your job. Stop standing there. Do something. Do something else. Like, like no, I laughing, having a conversation. Like, I know y'all talking about this, but there's no humor involved in it. At all. Oh, man. <laughs> I just should. Like, I know what the, I know what the purpose of this video is. Is this man being a weirdo, but like, like the other stuff, like I be hearing, like in the background, be like irritating to me. You want this extra? Yeah, yeah. You want freedom, your freedom? It's all, it's all the freedom I got, bro. Mm -hmm. There's anything in my pocket pocket back on rolling paper or something, bro. Okay. Do you have shoes in there? I do. Are they boots or shoes or what? 
Hey Joe, tell them if they see some green boots up there, if they could grab their uh, shoes. Green shoes. You got like shit tucked in your balls or something. She's got something in here that I can. It's like a folded up piece of paper. You can feel it. There's no one else up there? Or what? Yeah. Okay. okay, maybe the seriousness just not hit him. I'll figure that out. I'll figure that out in a second. I just didn't want to pat half his head. Yeah. 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 I heard him talk to somebody while I'm listening. Hey Chloe. Thought you said you didn't know her name. <laughs> now all of a sudden he know her name. He's trying to communicate to her to be quiet. You got something in your mind? Open your mouth. How do you know this Hello. Night last night. I don't know how she came. Did you say that's how she came? Yep. I love you, Chloe. But if you just met her, how do you? I love you, Chloe. People really be delusional. You love her. I mean, you just met, right? Yeah. Psychopath. But you love someone you just met? Yeah. Okay. I want my stuff, man. Okay. What stuff you got in there to get? Your phone. Your phone. <laughs> you see Sorry. 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 How does he know them? Um, that's a good friend of ours. And, and so for a couple years now. The girl or the guy? Will. Talked about her, and I said, "Well, when I go to work." He's not usually. He met her at a gas station. Is that what you're yes, he met her at a gas station like three months ago, and that's when he relapsed. He was sober until then. His meth is that what you're saying? Yes. And then. Um, so he used to live here. Yes, he paroled here. Yeah. Meth will do it to you. I don't know nothing about that meth, but it's not, it'll do it to you. Yes, his parole officer. He even noticed like right was when he it living changed. in the garage? Or that... No, 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 no. He. I haven't talked to him in almost four months because he ended up going back and I just, I have to separate myself. Absolutely not. My, my dad is out here every day in the garage, literally every day. So there's no way, but my dad forgets the key a lot and the side door is always unlocked and Will knows that. So you're saying it's like one in the morning? You know, yes, at least. Did you go back and look in the garage at all? No, I didn't. Exactly. On October 12th, okay. 2023, 23-year-old Chloe Jones had been walking home from an undisclosed location. Out of nowhere... That was not... This is... What is this? this that ain't Chloe. But continue. ...where 33-year-old William Mazingo pulled up beside her and asked if she wanted a lift. The pair had known each other for... A William is guilty. ...a brief period leading up to this point. It's thought they were somewhat friendly, and so she accepted the kind gesture. However, ladies and gentlemen... Y'all be trying to tell me, like, oh, you can't judge a book by its cover. Society will tell you you can't judge a book by its cover, but yes, you can. This is the cover. This. Bro, this is the cover. I'm judging. That would turn out to be a life-threatening mistake. You see, instead of taking her home, William took Chloe to the garage just off West Wilberth Road. He had lived at the property itself previously. It should be noted though that by October 12th, he hadn't visited in a while. It isn't entirely clear how Chloe responded when they turned up at the garage or whether she had That's been not really her or lured in. in but picture. what we do know is know. that for the next four days, she would suffer horrific physical, psychological and verbal abuse at the hands of William. I was doused with gas and repeatedly hit with a baseball bat. It was terrifying. I feared for my life countless times. I can't even count how many times he threatened my life.
As you already know, Chloe was saved thanks to the family that lived at the house. Although she suffered from mm. a fractured skull, a badly bruised face, a broken arm, and psychological trauma. She had all of that? A badly bruised face, a fractured skull, a broken Ultimately arm? survived and made it home to her son. It was... It was petrifying. You can see my face, it's... Um, Maybe that was her. I wouldn't wish this on, on anybody. Chloe is bruised from head to toe. She's wearing a hood to protect a still healing skull fracture. But this 23 year old wants everyone to hear her story. And I want to tell like the young girls don't from, you know, across America, like it's not safe to get in, you know, cars with people you don't know or meet up with friends through friends. Terrifying, you know, like being a Fear for your she life. Be scarred like, for life. Countless of times, just times I can even count of like how many times he's threatened my life. What got you through? My son did. I thought about him every day. I just saw his little face in my head every day. He has been convicted three times for the exact same offenses, and he was allowed to reoffend over and over. And I am angry. This is not, this is not acceptable. You don't deserve to, you know, get to live life the way normal people should. And I hope that, I hope that there is something that will come to light for him. But from, so this is what I gathered from the story. She knew him before she hopped in the car though. Like they were familiar with each other. Like I'm not placing any of the blame on her, but it's like, it's 2023. Who's hopping in anybody's car? Oh, you need a ride? No, I don't. I'm walking. I do. Am I, is my leg broke? Am I walking just fine? Right. No. It's, no, we're not hopping in cars. Anyway, continue. William was no stranger to the law, and this wasn't his first rodeo. This was the sixth incident of its kind. From what we know of his criminal history, he was jailed for an unknown length of time in 2011 for abduction. When he was jailed for that offense, he had been on parole for kidnap offenses relating to a different incident. In 2014, William was handed a nine month jail sentence for a separate abduction case. Then, in 2017, he was arrested for holding a woman at knife point in a Walmart Oi. restroom. And while out on bail for that incident, he abducted a woman known as Mackenzie Maston and her young brother. I was repeatedly beaten and threatened with a knife after William abducted me and my younger brother at a house in Canton. He would continuously put a knife to our throat, saying that he was going to kill us. He would threaten to break my jaw if, you know, I cried or yelled for help or anything. So what's going on with the Ohio ju judicial system? Like, no offense, like, he did all this, he went to court for this and, and was out and... Anything like that. He would continuously beat on us. My eyes were all blacked out and swollen from him doing that to us. He had us locked in a room for three days and he kept saying that we weren't going to be able to go back home to my parents. It was probably the scariest experience of my life. William was handed an 18 month sentence for the abduction months? of Mackenzie and her brother. He was released in December of 2018. Just four months after he was released, he struck out again. On April 4th, 2019, William abducted his then 29 year old ex-girlfriend. She was taken to a house in an undisclosed location in Stark County, Ohio. When they arrived, she was beaten, strangled, and at various times had a knife held to her throat. Eventually she would escape four days later on the 8th. After she escaped, she headed straight to a local police station and warrants for Williams arrest. I'm not gonna lie, man. Ohio police, Ohio judicial system, Ohio judges, everything in Ohio should be embarrassed about this one. Arrest were put out immediately. Sadly, though, he got to her before police got to him. At 10.52 p.m. on April 12th, 2019, the 29-year-old was found lying topless with a severe head injury on Cobbler Road, 30 miles from where she had previously been abducted. When deputies arrived at the scene, she told them that William had tracked her down just two days after she escaped, and that once she'd been abducted for a second time, he subjected her to more beatings. 
After being held for two days, she was then taken to Cobbler Road and left her. What was the hold up? She got abducted, got out, went to the police. The police did nothing and she got abducted again? What's Ohio police do? It's not that... Okay, it is a lot of crime in Ohio. Um, especially in like Cleveland and, 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 you know, in certain parts of Ohio. But come on, man. Like, that's, that's crazy. Take it. You got to take that serious. It wasn't the police who tracked William down in the end, though. And it wasn't the police who tracked what? It was actually a member of the public. You see, around the time the girl was found by deputies, William had been hitchhiking. He needed a lift to Carrollton. So when a member of the public offered him a lift, he of course took it. But instead of going to Carrollton, the member of the public took him straight to the police station and handed him in. At this moment in time, it isn't entirely clear why the man did this. For this incident, William was charged and jailed for kidnap, assault, aggravated trespass, a domestic violence related charge and a parole violation. But the length of time he spent in jail isn't known. However, it couldn't have been more long. than four years because in October of 2023, he was back up to his old tricks. Bro is a serial repeat offender. Just throw away the key at this point. He don't need to be out. He gonna keep offending. He gonna keep offending on the same exact charge. Didn't, like he's not unaliving anybody, but like at some point, a judge gotta be like, this is the road you're going down. Go sit down for 40 years, it's over. I'm tired of Ohio. That's why I only been to Ohio one time and it was boring. Shout out to the guys in Ohio, but I ain't visiting. <laughs> I'm good. Ain't no food, ain't no fun. For what I'm gonna go to Ohio for? To look at LeBron's birthplace? Like, no, nah, I'm good. I'm straight. Salute. See, I'll leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post. I'm gone.